Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O you who believe, do not raise your voices above the voice of the Prophet. And do not, do not speak in a volume the way you speak with one another. Do not be disillusioned and do not think that you are speaking to somebody normal. Do not do that. Why? And tahbatu amalukum wa antum la tashurun or else all of your actions will be destroyed and you will not even know. This verse is revealed. Now imagine how the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and whom responded. They started entering the court of the Prophet sallallahu in silence. They would speak only when the Prophet sallallahu is silent and they would control their volume. In the time of Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Umar al farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu enters Masjid Nabwi Sharif and there are two people sitting there and they are speaking loudly. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu says to them, where are you from? Stops them. So where are you from? They mention somewhere. So they're not from Medina, they're outside of Medina. Sayyidina Umar said, if you were from Medina, I would have punished you. Do you not know that you do not raise your voice in the court of the Prophet And this is after the Prophet has left this world. Meaning if you were from Medina, you would have known this rule. Because you're from outside, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. But from this point onwards, do not raise your voice in the court of the beloved Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is that blessed court. This is that blessed court that has adab, that has etiquettes in it. And when you follow these etiquettes, you follow these adab, you will receive immense blessings. You will receive immense blessings.